everyone, and welcome to another A and B Horror Movies video. I'm Aaron. I am Ben. And today um, we are going to be talking about our favorite part two. So some of the best sequels out there, um, of course, all horror movies, mostly horror movies, I should say. Um, but before we get to that, Ben, uh, what are you drinking? I'm drinking a fruity, uh, it's called a Juicy Bonus Fruited IPA. It's called a Juice Forsyth. Now, people from the UK will know um, Bruce Forsyth. So this is quite a cool can. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. And it is nice. 5% dude, so it's not too bad. Yeah, no, that's good. I've got a um, Galaxy Lights New England IPA. Uh, and this is from the... Uh, the yeah, isn't that cool? There's a spaceman. Um, this is from the Dorchester Brewing Company, and they are located in Dorchester, Massachusetts. And this is only 4.5%, so I'm playing it uh, a little bit safe, I guess. <laughs> It's quite I'm good. Up. I have it in my um, Halloween tumbler. I love that. So cool. It's dual size. Does that say Boogeyman at the bottom? What's that? Does that say Boogeyman at the bottom? The Boogeyman? It says you the can't boogeyman. kill the Boogeyman. Ah, uh, cool. But you yeah, can't kill the awesome. Boogeyman. Um, all right, do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? You go for it. All right. I am starting it off with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um, and this is... Oh, a I didn't even think about that. A very nice uh, vinegar syndrome edition. Um, check out the that back. They've got Dennis Hopper on the back. Um, Caroline Williams. Uh, gosh, I don't know. Um, the intro of this film is will stay with me forever, right? When the, those two guys in the car, and one of yeah. them has perhaps the most annoying voice ever. But when he looks over and his friend's head is cut in half, yikes. Yeah. Um, and then it's kind of goofy. There's like a Three Stooges kind of element toward the yeah. end. Um, but man, Caroline Williams is awesome in this. Boy, can she scream. Yeah. And she screams a her. lot. Yeah. A but lot. I loved um, Dennis Hopper's uh, character where he's like after him and he knows that he's, like, he's like hunting them down. I would love that. That was cool. Yes. Yes. No, I like that too. I, I apologize. I don't know why I'm drinking beer out of a straw. I got rid of the straw. <laughs> and this is recording. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, you go. Let's pretend that never happened. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. <laughs> um, I've gone Paul Ghost 2. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. Oops. That old man is so creepy. The old man in this. Oh my God. <laughs> he is scary. Um, Imagine seeing him walk up yeah. the driveway. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather not. Um, <laughs> it's good. It is. It is yeah. good. Um, as far as sequels go, it's actually not that bad. It's not as great as the original, but it it stands, I think, on its own. Yeah, it stands out. I think it's gotten more respect over the years, right? I, mean, I like it. Be super, super scary. So yeah. Yes. Oh, that's cool. I'm, I'm not even sure if I own Poltergeist too. Yes, I just admitted that out loud. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going with some obvious classics here. Uh, no surprise. It's Friday the 13th Part 2. Uh, probably one of my favorite sequels. Still just as awesome today. And I yeah. was crazy Ralph, right? You're doomed. You're all um, doomed. And I know I talked about that in a, a video, but what's that? Cool. No, and it introduces Jason as the killer, doesn't it? It was, yes. Um, uh, Warrington Gillette played Jason, and uh, I think he says he was the first Jason to kill. Because That's he technically so cool. wasn't the first Jason, because uh, I forget the guy's name. Um, who played the little Jason, the kid? Yeah, uh, It'll um, come to me. I have his autograph, too. <laughs> Oliver Twist. Um, <laughs> it was Oliver Twist. <laughs> yeah. no. Don't come to me. Why don't you go next, and then I'll remember what his name is. Um, I might, I might get some backlash for this, um, but I'm going for it anyway. Rob Zombie's Halloween Two. I liked yeah. both of these. Um, I liked it actually. In a different direction, mm -hmm. more brutal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, 
I like the be sticking my more story in, but yeah. sorry, mm. yeah. I really liked it. Um, in fact, to even you know take it one step further, I, I liked it better than his first one. Um, I thought structurally it worked yeah. better as a story. Yeah. I liked sort of the supernatural kind of elements that he put yeah. in. There, I think. Um, yeah. Um, I thought it was it was tighter as a, from a screenplay perspective. It was tighter. Uh, my complaint about the first one is I think think they spent too much time. Uh, setting up Michael Myers as a kid, and that was my biggest complaint. Yeah, they spent. Yeah, it was um, like forty minutes into it. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but there was a lot of time. Yeah, on that could have moved a bit quicker, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, but I think he did an awesome job with Michael Myers and um, yes. the mask, and didn't change it too much. And mm -hmm. I love the whole of how big he was in brute force. That was cool. yes, yes. And the actress who played Laurie Strode was awesome. Her name yeah, is very good. Uh, oh, oh, Scout Green. Taylor Compton. Is that right? Something like that. Nice. Scout, I think. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> it's funny that you picked that because I'm going with this. Look, Halloween 2. Um, oh, wow. Look at that still, man. Isn't that cool? Look at the back. You can see Laurie Strode crouching behind so a water fountain. Um, I don't know if there's anything inside. No, there's nothing inside. What did it say? Oh, you don't know what death is. Let me see that. Um, gosh, I love I love this movie. I like how it picks up right where the first one ends off. I mean, it's a little weird that she has this weird wig on and her hair is completely different. Um, yeah, but I've, I've gotten over that. And boy, yeah. right, scary at a hospital being in a hospital at night. Yeah, definitely. Scary. I kind of I've, I've I tell you what I've done with these films now. I've kind of learned to take them for what they are. So um, mm -hmm. there's a lot of films out there that don't fit in with the original, which yes. is fine. Like, like Halloween I just, 3. I, yeah, but it's it's such a good film on its own, mm -hmm. standing alone. And um, I think Halloween 2 does the same. And there's like, mm -hmm. now I'm not trying to think i can't think of anything but there's so many films that um I've yeah where the sequel goes mm -hmm. in a different direction yep yeah Absolutely. so it, it's um i think i was speaking to somebody earlier and uh we was on about uh cloverfield and hope they don't ruin it because the last one but the second one the cloverfield oh, lane what was a solid oh yes uh, yes very house. different it was mm -hmm. in the uh the basement and stuff but yeah well and you didn't even realize it was a cloverfield movie until the very end yeah so you just thought that the guy was nuts i did not see the paradox one the one cloverfield in space I heard, uh, I heard it was not very good i bet netflix kicked their self for buying that <laughs> <laughs> how would you care how would you compare that to the new jeepers creepers <laughs> I would actually give <laughs> a paradox. Um, ten out of ten. Out of budget. Out of budget. Yeah, I'd, I'd give them. Yeah, yeah. A, a solid <laughs> seven out of ten. Um, they used the green screen where it was needed and where it wasn't. Of course, like, yes. It, it and, wasn't filmed and, in a space where you need a green screen. Not on Earth, out a front door where you don't need a green screen. Right. <laughs> Don't get me on that. You knew it. You knew I couldn't uh, let you not talk about Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Um, although I think in our last video, I don't think I brought it up and you didn't bring it up. So maybe it's time to move on from, from that movie. Yeah. Is it my turn? Everybody, it's everybody your turn. Move on from that movie. <laughs> it's your turn, man. I've lost um, track. So, yeah, this is the sequel to my all time favorite movie. I haven't actually got it on its own, but it's in like a the second, the third, and the revenge. Jaws 2. Yes. Where um, the shark comes back. From he, being he certainly <laughs> does. Yes, yes. Isn't that the one with the, um, the uh, skiers, the water skiers? Where it they is, like, yeah, stand it, on it, top it, of each well, other? And... I mean, again, this is another one that stands out on its own. It has got Roy Schneider, in, which is cool that he come mm -hmm. back. Yeah, sure. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, Matt Hooper wasn't in it, uh, Richard Drouse's character. But I thought it was cool. It was like they put a little sort of uh, thing in there to say if one shark was killed, destroyed, could it give out maybe like a signal or something to say 
I've been to call in and I thought it was a cool little premise and yeah 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 no I think so too and it was good at the uh, the end when they're stuck on the island yes gosh yeah. I haven't watched in a while but yeah that's cool um going back to the water skiers I think that movie put an end to acrobatic oh, no. water skiing is it still happening it? was it the one with water skiers or was that number three where they was at the water park? Oh, I think it was three actually there is, I think there is. They, water- they did like a pyramid, right? I'm not crazy. And they yeah, all that's, were that's water. Third, yeah. That is the third one. <laughs> water. Uh, it's sea, sea Love Center, isn't it? Yeah. And then they all fall, all the water skiers fall. Yeah. Off that's 3D where the shark hmm. boat doesn't move, it just comes towards the screen. Right, right. <laughs> Gosh, doesn't the synchronized water skiing, doesn't that scream 80s? Hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I chose Nightmare on Elm Street 2, um, talking about talking about a departure. I mean, this this film, very different from the other uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Um, Love that case. Such a cool case. Yeah, kind of, kind of a, um, okay, I will admit when I saw it as a kid, I was kind of bored. I didn't really like it. There's like the love story and then like the weird um, sort of relationship with Freddy Krueger and the lead. Um, but I will say it's this, grown. What, it's grown on me. And what's that? Just with the pool party. Yes, it is the pool party. Oh, it's one of my... The two-headed dog, right? Or the human two-headed <laughs> yeah. human-headed dog. So there two heads or one? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely grown on me. I do really appreciate it and like it now. Um, the whole bus thing in the beginning, right? And then at the end, when yeah, that, the, the girls yeah. like it's all over now. And, it's like a, um, an alien alien moment, except it's not a uh, it's not an alien. It's... And then the bus drives off into the desert. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm watch that now. <laughs> it's good. I think I like it. I love the what is it? The parakeet that just explodes. Oh yeah. <laughs> in a, in a, Such um, a random yeah. random moment. That when he's having a dream and all the records like. Melting, everything's the, melting the right, right 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 yes really hot. yeah oh oh and he does that weird dance with the popper <laughs> and the girl <laughs> <Yeah>. shows up <laughs> yeah yeah all right maybe we yeah, should no, move on from that one. yeah <laughs> i need to watch that again um I, I didn't go with too many classics to be fair um because i kind of thought you did would have um so i went with i mean i've got one more what do you have Oh, cool. That's a good one. I've actually got two more. So, um, oh, well, uh, (laughs) go ahead. Let's talk about that one first. Uh, I've got a couple others here I can grab. Yeah, yeah, no, keep talking. Yeah, yeah, keep Insidious Chapter Two. That's good. Good. I love those series. Uh, Is there a new one coming out? There is. And when I watched the first one, Mm -hmm. I was kind of docked off that it took the scary thing away. I love the whole, um, when they called um if show in and she's explaining and she's he's drawing and she can see it in the corner and I loved all that. And then when they went into the dream sort of world, I was like, no, this has ruined it. But I've actually got a lot of respect for this film. It is good. Yes. Um so yeah. really scary music at the start of the first one. The, what's and- the, the little kid dancing with the dancing in the dandelion yeah. song? It's like a kind of a kid yeah, song, but they've made it terrifying. What was it called? Yeah. Tiptoe Tip through, through the tulip. That's it. Yes. Gosh, they made it terrifying. <laughs> um, this one was good as well, and um, I liked mm-hmm. where they went with it. Yes. So, yeah, I like that one as well. Can't, can't wait to. Uh, the last one wasn't great, but I think they're solid films. So good enough. Yeah. No, I'm a fan too. I like. Those. I like them. They kind of have like the Conjuring kind of style. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, is it James Wan? Is it James Wan done one or is it? I could be wrong. Oh, I don't Probably know. Wrong. I should know. Um, I don't know. Um, oh, back to me. James. Yeah, back to you. <laughs> you could look it up on our little supercomputers. Um, I picked I uh, Omen 2, Damien Omen 2. Um, one of the best, like, crow kill kill scenes with the woman driving. Um, yeah. Crows pluck her eyes out. Ah. Um, and one thing that's great, though, this... What's that? 
Or is this one with the friend where he's on the ice and he, he makes the ice break through? Is that I'm not is sure. Friend? It was either this one or the first one. No, this is the one where he goes away to the private school and then he and ends up himself. having to, to kill yeah, his does. friend or his stepbrother. Yeah. His adopted it, brother, yeah. he has to kill him. Um, and then it leads into the third one, which has, I think, Sam Neill in the Omen 3. But man, I've always really loved this one. This brings me back to like sleepovers at my friend's house, staying up as late as we can and watching um, the Omen 2. <laughs> All right. What about you? <laughs> What's um, next? I've got more, and I have gone for a classic on this um, Evil Dead 2. Yes, I picked it too. Oh, and you have the steel book. Is that a steel book? Yeah. Steel. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. All right, I'm just going to put my Blu ray aside. You win. That's so cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's cool. I don't know if there's anything on the inside. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, ah, very cool. Very cool. I think that's um, the scene where it's like the lights going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Holding yeah. my hand. That's an yeah. epic film. Uh, holds up pretty well. I mean, some of the effects are a little dated, but it, it's quite awesome. And I like how it's almost like a remake of the first. Um, but it's different, yeah. It's different, right. I think uh, Bruce Campbell described it as a requel. So like a remake and a sequel, but a requel. I see, I see somebody saying this is Evil Dead 2 is the best remake you'll ever get. <laughs> totally, <film>. yes. <laughs> um, it's cool. Oh, just gonna say, I've probably said this before, but anybody who collects steel books definitely get these sleeves. You can get more fans yes, in. I know you've told me a hundred times and I've yet to do it. But in theory, man, I appreciate it. I don't have any more. I'm reaching for a part two and I don't have any more near me. Do you have another one? That's, uh, <laughs> no, that's it. I have Terrifier too, but we already talked about that. Um, well, as we uh, go for new films, I'd actually... Oh, okay. I ruined it. Why don't you go? What's your new film? I don't know. I bought um, Terrifier 2, actually. Nice. Um, which is kind of hanging out the thingy. It's got the price on it there, but um, yeah. Terrifier 2. Nice. That's a great one. It, it is it's, a good one. It's long, um, but it, yeah, it's fun. It's long, um, but I didn't think it dragged at all. Um, no, it didn't feel like know. how yeah. long it is. I, I didn't enjoy it as much as the first. Mm -hmm. It was good. And um, the, the, the scene in the bedroom, the, the killing scene in the bedroom oh, was, gosh. how much longer can this go on for? I know, and then she's still alive at the end. It's like, what the heck? Um, <laughs> yeah. But you good. know, I mean, you know why they did that, right? Because going into it, I was thinking, how could they ever top that one kill in the first one, right? With yeah. the hacksaw. Um, mm -hmm. And wow, did they top it? And then some. If they do a Terrifier 3, which I'm sure they will, who knows? Half an hour kill scene? I, I, I kind of want to get the still book now. I've seen your one now. If you got it there, the art's so much better on your... I do, but all of my other movies are going to fall over. Don't I do, yeah. So cool. I love and that. Walmart put this out of all places. I was kind of hoping just for an even a normal case with uh, that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the back. Let me see if there's anything. Oh, there is something on the inside. It's got like the, you know, like the kid scene, except someone's on fire. Oh, uh, well, in the dream. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's in reverse. No, this end. It's... I've got a disc inside. <laughs> um. Here's a, a couple of new ones I got. Uh, I am not a serial killer. I've actually oh, never seen this, but I've heard it's no, quite good. Um, I had this in a stack the other day and someone commented and said, that sounds exactly what a serial killer would say, <laughs> which made me laugh. <laughs> um, yeah. it's got, uh, Christopher Lloyd. Um, oh. So if you've watched it, uh, let us know what you think. If you haven't, uh, check it out. How many other yeah, new ones do you have? I've got a couple. Two. I think I've, I think one of these. One. Um, I'm going to save one of them for if last. It's new but... to you. It's new okay. to you. 
torso. I'm not too sure if I've shown this already. Um, I don't think so, man. That's a cool addition. But um, I watched this mm -hmm. on Full Moon, I believe. Uh, the Full Moon app. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Stream. Yep, yep. That's and, Itali uh, Italian, right? Is that yeah, I want to after. Yeah, it was, is it? Um, uh, yeah, Sergio Martino. Okay, not Argentina. Okay. Um, I have the Arrow edition of that. I have yet to watch it. Um, cool. Um, yeah. These do have their flip covers as well. These are from Shameless Screen Entertainment. I've got a few of these, and they're quite cool. That is quite like the yellow um, case. Nice. Um, yeah. So it's a good I, film. I'm going to have to watch it. I have so many on my list, but yeah, I, I do. I've got so many unopened as well, which I've just not. <laughs> um, <laughs> worm? I have no idea what this oh, right. is. Have you seen it? Worm, no. Looks no. nice, though. It's <laughs> in the, the heart shape, right? Yeah. Good family fun. That <laughs> uh, looks as good as crabs. <laughs> <laughs> I got worms, too. <laughs> worms, um, too. Aaron's had crabs and worms on this This, this came show. at Synapse Films put this out. Um, I think I got this as part of the MBD sale. It's a sci-fi thriller. Um, oh, I don't know. Could be fun. 94 minutes. If you've seen it, let us know if it's good. Yeah. I got two more. Do you want me to do another one? Yeah, you do one, then I'll do, and you can finish with another one. OK. Uh, the tagline on this is, when I go berserk, you're better off dead. Uh, watch me when I kill. Oh, cool. Look out for a case. It's got to be a fun one. 1977. Oh, it's nice. Ra it's rated R, shocking. Rated R. <laughs> oh, it's another, it's an Italian giallo film. Oh, it's remastered in 4K. Sweet. I love when they do 70s movies in 4K. They look awesome. Whatever yeah, cameras they, do, they use they back then. Really good jobs. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of them. And then others, I've seen like, uh, yeah. Um, this is one of my new ones, actually. And nice. It's awesome. So I'll quickly show it back in a minute. It okay. is overfilled. Oh, the steelbook. Yes, that's cool. Um, and you set that up, and you've got nice. It's the city with the monsters. The um, and it does it have the the head of the Statue of Liberty? Um, I believe it is on the inside. Maybe yeah. It's it's like so. It's the city. You've got Very the camera. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not too sure if the Statue of Liberty's head's there or not. Um. I love that moment when the head flies down the street. Yeah, so good. Mm -hmm. uh, um, like I said, I was talking about this earlier, and I kind of oh, it's, it's on the back. And um, there it is. Really, really can't wait to see what they do with the this next one because it's a direct sequel. But I don't know if it's kind of going to ruin the film if they give too much away about mm -hmm. the monster. That's the whole. I think the thing that made it really good was. There's so much mystery and where it come from, and I can't yeah, yeah, that. totally, yes, agreed. But um, yeah, that is a uh, it for new additions. There's probably about thirty more, but I can't remember. I know I can't remember what ones I've shown. In fact, I may have shown showed this one before. It's a uh, Starship Troopers Steelbook. I love that case. If I did um, show it before, then it's worth showing again. Look at the back. Definitely. Look, that's uh, that is uh, what's, what's, the on the... That? what's the ones called on the back? Ass blasters. Is that them, or is that a different film? Is it the ass blaster? Shoot, I don't know. Oh, is that that? <laughs> I got that wrong. That might be from Tremors Two or something. Maybe. Yeah. Because I think they're just called Ara the Arachnids. Got it wrong. They are the Arachnids. Yeah. Um, but some great artwork. I think it's cool that they didn't put Starship Troopers on the cover. It's on the spine. But it's yeah. not here. It's just the artwork. Brilliant. I had to pick it up. Yeah, no, it's fun. Satirical, uh, entertaining, some great gory moments, yeah. lots of uh, bug massacres. Um, it's, um, it's, it is actually a really good film. Okay. So, yeah, definitely. Must have watched about it times. Never gets boring. Cool. Okay, well, those are our favorite twos, our new arrivals. Let's pretend I was not drinking a beer out of a straw. 
what do I normally say? If there's anything you'd like us to talk about or cover uh, in a future video, add a comment and we will consider it. Yeah, uh, go to Instagram, follow us over there, um, check us out. Uh, also hit the like and subscribe on here and leave a comment of what colour straw you'd like to see Aaron drinking out of next. <laughs> but not beer. Or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thanks, everyone. Uh, cool.